Hello everyone, welcome back to some more thrift store finds. actually hit a couple of places today. I was going to a half price day sale. Left super early, got done at the post office and cleaning out my car and everything much faster than I thought. So with the extra time I decided, hey, let's check out what is now in the place of where our favorite thrift store was with the bargain bins where we got so much stuff for years and years and years. Just kind of a normal thrift store there and it is open. Part of it's still under construction, but I went and checked it out and it's kind of the way the normal portion of a Goodwill just kind of typically, get, typically is. Uh, definitely a place I'm not going to go to very often, but occasionally it's one of those on the list to check out maybe once a month or so. But I did find a few things that were worth grabbing. Uh, over in the books I did find a handful of manga that were not crazy priced because you know a lot of times they slap insane stickers on books and things over there. We have One Piece. Volumes 1, 2, and 3, so a good little starter set for that series. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5DS, that one is, I'm not that familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! Whatever that newer uh, series is, Volume 6 of that, and then Volume 5 of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And then Angel Sanctuary, Volume 2. So those are worth getting. And then I was going through, the way they have this one set up, there's a huge clothing section, and then there are these two-sided, just big metal shelves, and they're only semi-organized. You know, this is the kind of store that used to be, it was pretty much by color within the confines of a certain thing, like housewares, and then this aisle would be green stuff, and then red stuff. Uh, board games would be its own section, electronics would be its own section, just kind of organized by color within that. This, there was stuff everywhere. Like, there were just, I had to go through every aisle because it was completely disorganized. I did find two things worth grabbing. A little bit of damage on the card, but this sealed uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface action figure. So, a little bit of beat up there on bits of the cardboard, but still a sealed action figure, and he was actually surprisingly cheap for that store. And then another sealed thing this is the Myrtlewood Stables. Uh, this one I actually had to look up to see if it was worth grabbing because I thought it was, but one of those that I'm not familiar enough had to double check, but that was definitely worth grabbing. So just kind of a few oddball things. Then I made it back to the place I was intending to go, and they've been really bad with books lately. There's just they're not adding anything. It's the same things over and over again. It's just slowly shrinking, so it kind of, kind of comes and goes. But I found a few things in the DVDs. Uh, this is you know, the half price thing, and then I also found for a dollar, uh, a Star Trek thing that probably will be not for us, which is very unusual to find that, but Star Trek The Next Generation for the role-playing game, the like, d d style game, it is a Federation away team miniatures, so a little set of miniatures, and it's completely sealed. So that's something, and you know, we don't really play that, so this will probably be the rare occasion where a Star Trek thing is not for us. And a few DVDs, The Invisible Man, Season 1, I never even knew there was, uh, TV series came out in 2008. This DVD set, at least, so an early 2000s series. Wonder how many seasons that lasted. And then these were great because they're sealed, so they're definitely worth grabbing for the price. The Magicians, seasons one, two, and three. So getting all three, the fact that they were sealed, and season three even has the slipcover, that definitely made it worth. And it'll have, it would have been worth that full price because they were actually three decently priced, but half price? Alright. And then there were two things behind the case that were actually worth grabbing, especially because they were not a, the new to you color. They always have every week, they'll have one color sticker that is new to you and is not included in the half price. But these must have been there for, um, a little while since I've been there because they were not that color. They weren't the new color. They were half price and they're already not crazily overpriced. It was just kind of a good morning for that. A couple of Warhammer books. We have the Codex Heretics Asteris Thousand Sons from Warhammer 40k and interesting another uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar so um, looks like that's a, you know the regular Warhammer the fantasy based one not the the uh, you know 40,000 sci-fi looking one so that was really a good find those two those two were fantastic definitely worth going there just for what they were that would have been fine and then on the way home I stopped by another little goodwill that I kind of only go to if it's on my way home from this particular sale. So they're the very hit or miss. And I found they had in these bags sometimes, this is a place that bags up sometimes books. They'll have a single paperback book, like this Forgotten Realms book, sitting on the shelf, kind of beat up usually for five or six dollars. What the heck? And then every once in a while you go in and for six bucks they have a little baggie with four of them. 
So, and we have the Cleric Quintet. It's volumes 2, 3, 4, and 5. I could not find volume 1 individually. I looked through the shelves to see if they just missed it. Well, it wasn't in the bag, so, but hey, that was still definitely a good find worth a little bit of a stop. So that was the morning. Definitely happy to be able to do a big enough thrift store kind of finds thing to do a video. Uh, that's the one thing that is also kind of a negative of not having that particular location that I go to all the time is that I really only take the time to do a video for this kind of thing if it's something worth doing. If I just stop by a thrift store on the way somewhere and I find two books that are worth it for the store, that's not worth my you know, time making a video. It's not that interesting to you probably either. So, but thankfully this is kind of cool to be, you know, this is kind of probably the longest time, it's only been a few weeks, but one of the longest times in a long time doing thrift store finds type of videos. So, uh, great to find these. Had a good morning and hope you guys are having a great week. I'll see you around and there's one really cool thing actually coming for us. Something that uh, man and I were completely shocked we were able to get it for like five bucks. Like five dollars. You'll see. It's crazy. should be here this weekend or next week but I, st I still can't believe it. Uh, so one really cool thing uh, to look forward to.